What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are doing well as always. And since you clicked on this video, probably means you need some help figuring out to, what to get that special someone for Christmas. I do too, that's why I made this video, so I could help myself. Today, we're gonna to be covering four price points from cheapest to most expensive. So cheapest, we're gonna be covering gifts under $100, um, and then it's gonna go up to $500, gifts under $500, and then it's gonna to go to 1,000, and the highest price point we will be maxing out at today is $10,000. So let's dive into the under $100 gifts. First up, we have a Polaroid camera. So a Polaroid camera is something you probably get for your photographer, friend, or maybe someone who wants to get into photography, or maybe Maybe just someone who wants to capture memories on the fly. This camera is a great camera for that. I used to own one, don't own one anymore, but I kind of wish I still owned one because they are great cameras for memories. Basically, you take a photo and it prints the photo for you instantly and then it just takes a little bit to render. Next up on the under $100 list is a personal photo. So this could either be one of their photographs or maybe a photograph of you guys together on some special occasion. Um, you can get these and like for 60 bucks, maybe even cheaper if you want. The photo itself, actually not the most expensive part, usually it's the frame, unless you want like a really high quality paper on the photo, then it can get more expensive. It's a personal photo of one of maybe their photos or you guys together is a great way of saying, hey man, I appreciate you, here's a photo. Go hang that in your house somewhere. Next up on the list, we have LUTs and presets. Now, these can get more expensive than $100, but I personally wouldn't spend any more than $100 on a preset or LUT. So if you buy someone a LUT or a preset and you don't know how to give it to them, put it on a flash drive. Flash drives would be the way to go. Put it on a flash drive and give them the flash drive with that on there. Flash drives are like five bucks. And it's a great gift to be like, maybe they can't justify buying it for themselves, but to get that as a gift would maybe really help them. They probably really like that. Next up on the list is a Bluetooth speaker. And these, obviously, we all know can get up to $1,000, but we're not gonna be spending $1,000 on a Bluetooth speaker for a friend. So what you can do is you can go to Walmart. They got one that's literally $30, and it's on, at least my Walmart has a clearance on it for $20, and it's a great waterproof, nine hours of battery charge speaker. Everyone really likes listening to their music, and when you can take that somewhere with you, that's not just on your phone, but yes, Bluetooth speaker. If you wanna go more expensive, you can. And the last item on our under $100 list is a filter. Uh, I'll have to come out with a video on how how important filters can be to your photography, but if your friend has a VND, like a, like a six to nine VND for like daylight, that's great, everyone needs that. But chances are you don't have a gold morphic filter or a blue morphic filter or a mist or black mist filter, which are all great for enhancing your videos in other ways that you might not have thought of until you put that filter on. So that's just a kind of fun gift to get them. They might not be able to justify that for themselves buying it because it's not necessary, but it's a great gift that we all probably want. Moving on to the under $500. First up, we've got the AirPods Pro second generation. I personally own these and I love the noise cancellation on those things. You, you can turn that on an airplane, not hear a thing, but when you land and you have to take them off, it's like, whoa, it's really loud, like crazy loud. And the battery life on those things are Absolutely great. I really probably could go all week without charging them. For, I don't use them all the time, but for what I use them in the week, I use them probably at least once a day for at least two hours a day, and I could probably go all week without charging them. Your friend who you get this gift for would love it. Next up on the list, you could get them the new Osmo Action 4, um, and most of the combo packs on them are under $500. I think there's like one or two that are over, but that's adding a lot of value to it. But my dad bought the Action Pack, and I actually have not used it yet, but he filmed the video of a Nebraska hunt he went on strictly on that camera. The video turned out really, really well, and there's no external mic on that either. So all of the audio from that is on the internal mic of the Osmo Action 4. So that's a great camera it, to get someone if they like vlogging, because that's a great start vlogging camera. If they like anything action, so like dirt bikes, snowmobiles, jet skis, fun things that you can strap uh, Osmo, or GoPro. GoPro is a good idea too. Most GoPros under, are under $500. Those are great gifts to get someone if they're just starting out. The next gift you could get is not photography related, at all, um, unless you went out to the woods and were doing photography in the woods and you needed this, but it's a vessel canister. And these can get under $100, especially when they're on sale now. I think the small one's like 70. It's just a little canister that has a screw off top and you can change the 
top or bottom? I think it's the bottom. They even sell a Bluetooth speaker, but it's like an extra $70. So when you go on there, they either have pre-made bundles, uh, they have a medical one, they have a coffee one. So for all you coffee lovers out there, that's actually, I think, one of the cheaper ones, except they just did an updated version of it. I think that one's more expensive than the old one, but I think they still sell the old one. And they just have like a camping needs one. So, you know, matches, fishing tackle, hunting ammo. Uh, I think they have a water bag one, which is pretty cool. But that's a great gift to get someone if they love the outdoors and are always forgetting the necessities. Because it's really small, really compact, very durable. Like those things are not breaking at all, ever. The last thing under our $500 price point is an SSD. Personally use the T7 SSD, just the bare one. But I am a fan of the Shield version because that, in my opinion, feels a little bit better because I have some friends that have that and just feels like it's not going to break as much as my other T7 does. SanDisk SSDs. You get a two terabyte one for under $100, so that's an under $100 option. And then the Pro versions, those are way more expensive. And then you can get, I mean, you can spend thousands of dollars on external hard drives. But to get it for someone else, it's something that us creators always need. And so your buddy who's a creator is probably going to want this. All right, now we're moving on to the under $1,000 dollar price point. Uh, first off, we have a DJI Mini 4 Pro. This is the newest Mini they have released. This with the standard, oh gosh, it's one of the controllers. I can't remember which one it was called. But you can buy this and the controller for under $1,000. Especially if you're a content creator, you can get so many different angles with drones that you couldn't get on the ground. And the great thing about these mini cameras is they shoot true vertical. So if your friend is like a creator for TikTok or Instagram, uh, they're really gonna love this drone. Because in my opinion, if you were gonna shoot uh, horizontal and vertical, Vertical, the same thing I would recommend shooting it twice one in horizontal one in vertical because then you have true vertical video to work with and not just taking it from the horizontal and hoping it works that's my two cents of advice for shooting vertical next up are the last two things on this list they're both camera kits and they're both beginner camera kits for someone who maybe in your life you know wants to get into photography videography but don't either know how, have the money, or know what to get. And Canon has a starter kit of the M50 Creator Kit. That is what I would get if you wanted to go Canon way. That kit I think comes in at like $800, just over $800. It's got everything you could need to start up it's got the camera, the kit lens, the battery, um, and that's actually the web streaming um, kit. So you could also use it on your computer as a web stream camera instead of your crappy computer camera that nobody likes. And the next camera is the Sony ZV-E10 kit. That is the way I would go if you were going Sony. I don't even, I think that one's like $800 too, but it comes with the camera and the kit lens. It's not, it's a kit, but it's not like a web stream kit like the M50 is. Both crop sensors, but both work great for starter cameras. Those are the two starter cameras I'd recommend. Now we've hit the under $10,000 price point. We have four items and they're all cameras. So if you weren't here for a camera, you can click off now. First up, we have the Canon R5, which would be a great gift for someone. Maybe it has like the Canon EOS R, maybe even the R6, and you're like, oh, well, I mean, here you go, here's a R5, and you could also get the 24 to 105 lens with that. That'd be a great option too, and combined those are both under $10,000. The Sony upgrade you get for your friend might be the Sony A7R5, which is a photo workhorse. This is the camera that if I was going Sony, I would probably go with. You could get that with the Sony 24 to 70 under $10,000. Um, that's a great gift and a great upgrade because that's their newest R-series camera. All right guys, that's it for me, and to wish you off, I wish you a happy holiday and happy shopping.